Dead in Hip Hop Conversations. Today, we are talking about albums we wished we reviewed. Now, I don't remember because you know I'm bad with names, but Sonny got my back. This came for Patreon, so I'm pretty sure somewhere around here, you know, you're gonna put the name and all of that. But well, we appreciate all of you patrons. The whole crew's here, plus one. We have Ashton, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Ashton, how you doing? What's up, what's up? Do you, are you prepared, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bet. As long as you prepare, we Gucci. <laughs> um, how long you been watching us, Ashton? Uh, since my sophomore year of college, so since like 2012. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So he definitely got some. Yeah. Oh yeah. I had to go back. And I was searching. Let's see did they, what albums they yeah, did. They yeah. read this. I'm like, am I am I really a dead in hip hop fan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 2012. Yeah, we started yeah. in 2011. That's wild. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm gonna do this time. Instead of everybody saying there's three, we're gonna go around the room because people stole people's projects last time and I want everybody to have a fair shake. I want everybody to have a fair shake. So I will start off. Oh, damn. You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bitches are the host. You host your live, you do this what you want. Nigga, I'm the captain here. So my first one <laughs> that I wish we would have reviewed, Sauce Walker Get a Gospel 3. Mm. That album, bruh. I never forget. Still um, my favorite project by here so far. One, BZ, yeah. I'm with you. And his ghetto gospels are hard, but that's the hardest mm -hmm. one out of all of them. Mm -hmm. I I can't remember the year that it dropped, but I remember it dropped at the end of the year. I want to say it's like two years ago. I think like it was the end of 2022. Yep, going into 2023. Yeah. And bro, our every fucking chat that I'm a part of started going crazy, especially our Madden chat. People posted it. People started going. Crazy. I was like, yo, this album. Like, what the fuck is happening right now? And then, unfortunately, you know, we take off for the holidays. So we was in our off time. You know what I'm saying? So we never really got to get to it. But BZ loves that album. I love that album. Ken loves that album. Rod loves that album. Do you love that album? Have you heard that album? I haven't checked it out. Mm. Oh, my God. Okay, we bought, we bought mm. the, hey, you gonna learn today. You gonna <laughs> learn today. <laughs> mm. You put, hey, you, you, no, you so <laughs> what, what do you use? You use Apple Music, yeah, I Spotify? Use, I use Apple Music, no. Okay, we're gonna send it to you. Sauce Walk is just weird. Like, I think the first Dang. couple of songs I heard from, I didn't like. That's so cool. I, I, so I, I just get it. never went back to like, Shit. check them out. And then I hear y'all reference them, talk about it. And now I hear like little verses he popped on here, popped on there. Or mm -hmm. He rapped over a conductor beat or yep. something. Like, oh, he he fucked with Griselda. Yeah, when he's on Griselda, mm -hmm. I was like, this is Sauce, this the same nigga? Like, yeah. oh, okay. Give me an album that you wish we would have reviewed since you've been watching this for a minute now. Okay. Um, an album I wish I would have reviewed, uh, Gold Links. At mm. what cost? Okay. Yeah, either okay. that one or diaspora. Go link at what cost? Um, yeah, when I was in college in DC, so that was a, a big time mm. when that album came. Like when crew come out, I was mm -hmm. in school. Like mm -hmm. we, that, that was like the song. Yep. And then the cool thing about at what cost was every artist featured on the album was all from DC. Mm. So it felt it was like a very if this feels like DC, yeah. if you put it on. I fuck with it. DC heavy man. Yeah. I love DC. So that was a great album. I was like, dang, y'all didn't do that one. And then Diaspora, kind of like the title implies, mm. it's from uh, all over the all over the diaspora. Gotcha. And gotcha. you should a songs influenced from all different types of black people, okay. all different types of forms mm. of music. So I was like, huh? I, I, those are the two. Um, goal I don't think I did any goal lane projects. I thought but, we did. So, nah, we didn't. So those are two are just like money, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, did the hook. I wanted to see that. And I, I never got that. But I was also in DC at the time, so it was more yeah. like a yeah, yeah, shit that trashed. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's two other artists I have on here. And I was like, huh, hey, I don't know. Save them. Save them. BZ, give me an album that you wish we would have reviewed. Rock Marciano Reloaded. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Man, we didn't do that one. That's no. wild. Mm. No, was I the only one that had that in my num my number one in that 2012 year? I think I did when we did our year end list. But yeah, Rock Marciano Reloaded. I took a different approach. Um, okay, I didn't do like just all time or whatever. I just mm -hmm. did current or mm -hmm. whatever because I I don't know. I I just read it a little different than y'all. Everything I looked at was like from when we started that in hip hop and now and like. My list is very more current than that. Like, oh, I'm yeah. Mine is like this year. Yeah, 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 okay, I got I got yeah, yeah, I yeah, got yeah. So there are things that we haven't reviewed over mm -hmm. the years that I could have put on this list, but I didn't, I didn't prepare it that way. Got you. Um, so one on here is um um Aka Solo. Y'all probably heard me say his mm -hmm. name like mm -hmm. plenty of times, and he has something that came out um on streaming recently. It came out at the top of the year, but it, but then it dropped on streaming. But it's called uh, The Strong Remains. 
And um, I put B onto it, and Mike is already onto it. But um, yeah, man, uh, Kai Solo is definitely an um, artist that I've come to really, really enjoy over the years. And I was introduced to him through like uh, Arm and Hammer. He was, mm. he was featured on Arm and Hammer. I'm like, who is this guy? And then I started de de doing a deep dive into his music. And yeah, I, I really messed with him. And that's his most current one that I've seen out. Um, is uh, the strong remains by Kai Solo. That's what's up. So that'd be my first one. Ken, what's your first one? Memphis Massacre Two. Duke, <laughs> Duke, Duke. <Deuce. laughs> Mr. Fat Matt, yeah, bro. Hey, 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 hey. I want, I want every, FIFA. I want everybody to feel the energy that I felt <laughs> when I listened to that album and probably doing the review. <laughs> Shout out to Nick, because Nick put me on, put us on. Mm -hmm. Hey man, I, I I I've been a fan ever since, bro. But that that's this was the one, this was the first one he sent us. Yeah. Man, bro. Yeah, that's hey, we missed out. Nah, we did. We missed we, out. We, we we definitely did. Did we do it for D365? Yeah. Yeah, we did it for D365. Yeah, we did it with Nick, bro. Um, make sure you go subscribe, D365 mm -hmm. Reviews your daily dose of music content. Uh, videos are coming, but on the Dead and Hip Hop podcast, it's always there. I got another one that we did on D365. Matter of fact, it's the first video that we did. Portraits of the P by Primo Rice. I told Ken, and you go listen to that review and watch that review on the, on the YouTube channel. We fucked up mm. because that should have been the intro to the chamber of the dead and hip hop chamber of Primo Rice. Cause that album is like a combination of all of the mixtapes. It's like, it, it was the perfect entry point to let people know that you should be listening to him mm -hmm. and then go backwards. And we fucked up, but that's the reason why we started hey, D365 this year with that one. Primo about ready, bro. Yeah, he is, yeah, he bro. He's bubbling. <laughs> you, you see what y'all keep yeah, talking yeah, about. Bro. He so, got that joint with two chains yeah, on it, deep in my bag. Bro, bro. About ready, bro. bro. Bro, we gotta play that when, because y'all niggas, y'all niggas, niggas sleeping. Y'all know about Primo, y'all niggas sleeping. Aston. Wait, I got Alice too. Oh, you got him too? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I didn't know. I, I, hey, I, I know I was going around. Hey, hey, hey. Go ahead, go ahead. What, what's your first one? Uh, no, my first, my first one would be uh, Smino's Black Swan. Okay. So that dropped uh, 2017. So that was my, mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much like my sophomore year of college. I was at Tech College at that time. That's what's um, up. It's I, good. Bro, it's, it's, it, to this day, I still could put that song, that, that album on, play front to back, no skips. Mm. Um, the production from between him and Monty Booker and um, Felix and all those guys from Chicago is mm. really, like, they really created like a very specific soundscape for that project. And you can hear it, they're like, I don't, you, I, to this day, I still haven't heard no one that sounds like Smino. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's that's a project that had me hooked in my college days. So well, give, give us your number two. Um, number two, uh, mm -hmm. Silver Q. Uh, okay. Apologies in advance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that on vinyl. You got uh, it on un vinyl. Underrated rapper. That joint on vinyl. Bruh, yeah, yeah, that's that. That, that, that was my shit. I, I I still to this day I appreciate the the direction he took that project because mm -hmm. I I don't think of like I've ever heard someone like approach personal issues yep. and mental issues yep. in that sort of fashion where that shit like, was so clever the way he approached the, the that whole shit, album man. is basically yeah. something like a like a like a double a like a, a, a meeting a shit. Meeting, yep. but it's for yep. feelings and emotions yep. and stuff of that no, nature that shit, and dope, yeah. that shit that shit is amazing. like I, I still throw that project on like you know just to kind of like whether i'm cleaning the house or just kind of mm -hmm. like you know just at, at work or whatever because it's it again all the way yeah, through yeah. no skiffles so. yes, what's up? well wishes down yeah he yeah. he was he had some like procedures yeah 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 no yeah 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 he had a he I got dinosaur cancer. Love cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I, last time I heard, I think he just he got his test back, so they're mm. about to actually start start okay. Um, like treatments and stuff of that nature. So he has a GoFundMe up available on his Twitter's um, and you know all his respective socials if you want to go help him out as well. Um, Ashton, what's your second album? All right. So this one's like surprising to me. Mm. I searched multiple times to make sure y'all didn't review this. Even <laughs> as I'm about to say, I still can't believe y'all didn't review this. Mm. Sky Zoo, all the brilliant things. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on top. It was on the top uh, fives or tens or something. It made some probably B list. Yeah, I think it played. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a, an official like yeah. review, mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way they didn't review this. Yeah, there's no way y'all didn't review this one. A lot of stuff we missed, man. Yeah, yeah a lot of stuff we missed. Yeah, we missed some mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I wish we would have hit that one he did with Pete Rock. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted that one. Yeah, shit, that one, the one uh, mine the Saint. Oh yeah, that, that one, one too. One. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. BZ, what's your mm -hmm. second album? Second one. Mm -hmm. I hope this. I hope I'm not taking this one from you, Rod. Twenty one in Metro Savage Mode. The first one. The first one. Uh, you're not the taking it because you remember I did. Yeah, yeah, that shit was the crazy. First one. But you know, I didn't. I didn't. 
take that approach to this. I know you yeah, say yeah, you knew yeah, it, yeah. 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 But so, that, yeah. that would have been one. Twenty one and Metro Boomin, Savage Mode. Yeah, the first one. I know we did the that's second one, but crazy. that first one, bro. Just because I want to be part of the, the cool, <laughs> cool. I want to be part of the cool, cool too. Shit. I'm gonna go off, 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 uh, off a little bit. But um, mm. Benny the Butcher, Tanner Talk Three. Mm. Mm. The, the, that's like that's made number one yes. of, of, on our Griselda ranking. Yes, like, like yeah. become a patron today because we did that yeah. Griselda ranking. That was the like. hardest one we've ever done. <laughs> oh no, that's not a patron. That's on channel. Oh, that's on the channel. Yeah, it's on, it's the, on the channel. channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't released it yet. No, but no, it's it's out. Out. it just came out today. Yeah. It just came out today. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad, 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 bad. For that to be like one of the number one releases yes. that we all have like yeah, acknowledged, you know what I'm saying? And we didn't review that. That's crazy. Why did we didn't? Why did it, we it review came, that? I want to say it came late. It came like in December. Yeah, right it came Christmas. late. Oh. Kind of like kind of like ghetto like gospel, gospel and um, yeah, man. But um, it, it's crazy that we haven't reviewed that. I feel like we got it. We need to go back. Go back and review. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, we should. for sure. I waited for weeks. Hey, look. <laughs> I just knew it was coming. That's I funny. knew it was coming. That's so and then, if you get to this point in the video yeah. and you haven't liked, let's get to like, <laughs> uh, uh, like 1.5 thousand likes. You know, maybe 2,000 and we'll review it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like the video and we'll review that joint. Ken, what's your second one? I'm gonna go to 2011. Okay. And I will pick out why use the urn. Mm. I remember you talked heavy. I knew, that heavy. I knew it was yeah, gonna it pop was, up. I, I, it was on my list, but I, I wasn't gonna mention it. But oh, yeah, it was yeah, on my list. Yeah, it was on yeah. my list. I don't know. If I, well, I, I knew. I know you know about it. Yeah, but I, you know, I figured it may have been on your list. But the yeah. only album, if we was to redo our 2011, that would probably be number two. Bro, mm, on my, on my, yeah, I was bro. doing my my top five. That was bro, amazing. That shit, yeah, that album is fucking yeah, amazing. Yeah, I. We need to go back and redo that one. Bro, that shit, yeah, that, that shit is man, yeah, man. Yeah, that shit is crazy. That's all bro. you talked about. I, I remember. I remember yeah. that album because of you. Oh, mm. uh, Sunny. What's your number three? Uh, so my number three is actually uh, Code of the Friend, everything. Okay, he Co Code is dope. Uh, he, he dropped in twenty twenty. Um, that like Ashton with Tana Talk three. I was like real looking for y'all to review that one. Um, because <laughs> I don't I, think he's ever been in the chamber. No, he's no. Not, he's yeah, like, yeah, nah, yeah. like I, I want to say he had like a couple features here and there that y'all mm -hmm. spoke on. And so I was just kind of hoping, just like because like, y'all had like good you know reactions to his features and stuff that y'all reviewed. But I really love that album. Again, solid one through you know all the way to the end. No skips. The production. The uh, the storytelling stuff he had is there as well. Like he really puts you in his own world from the soundscapes and all the others. Like he has like the music from the people, like the kids playing in the damn alleyways and shit like that mm -hmm. coming in. The sounds of the drums and stuff he would hear, you know, growing up. So, yeah. so my third album, um, I'll get into that and then we'll go around the room to see if anybody has any honorable mentions. Uh, but my third album, I know, I know the look that Ken's. I'm not even gonna look over there. I already <laughs> know the look I'm gonna get, but. I'm going to talk about it before I say what it is. I feel like this particular artist, this was like the breaking point for him and where he has ascended to now for the people that he's worked with and is currently working with now. It started because of this project. You already know. <laughs> Go ahead, say it for me, then, Ken. Say it for me. Man, you talking about Larry June? Bro. I sure am. <laughs> Orange print. Orange print. It came out. I want to say twenty twenty two. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But yes, Larry June. Orange print. I feel. You know, and, and he has and, an album called Orange Print. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, the album cover is right. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Hey, look, look at the album cover, bro. You looking it's like I don't know how I feel about hell. this, bro. He, I, it's a, it's a Ferrari. Um, uh, four, it's either a four five eight or the new. Mm. I, I don't, I don't know mm -hmm. which one, but it, all his album covers are dope. It's right. called Orange Print. Right. Um, yeah, bro. Super dope. Super dope. Look, I put it to you like this. You want to laugh? Play it on your way home. Play it on your way home. I guarantee you that you are going to like it. I just this is the name. I, I know my told you I fuck with him now. I know you do. I fuck I know with you him do. now. I, I appreciate it. Now. But yeah, nah, I feel like this is the project that catapulted him. Mm, you know okay. what I'm saying? It, it, it didn't hit commercial because Larry is super underground. But I don't know. I just feel like this is the album that got him the attention that he's getting now. So I wish we would have reviewed that one. Ashton, number three. Okay, I had I had one. Wait, y'all never did Dom Kennedy the Yellow album? Nope. <laughs> That's a I good mean, one though. 
It is a good one. <laughs> but you surprised? <laughs> what? I think, I think that album was like the album. Bro, I know. Album that was his album. best album. His best album. album. I, know. I, that, I still bump it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, I, if I'm in a Dom Kenny mood, that's the album I that's always play. That's the yeah. one maybe, I always maybe go to. Maybe West Side would love too, but I fuck with that album too. That second though. Yeah, but I, I, Yellow album is it. It just, it just hit one. me. I was like, I don't think they did this. I went look. I never did. That's crazy. What I was going to say was, I know y'all not a fan. Oh, so you do an honorable mention. Oh, you think you slick. No, <laughs> no, it's just, it just, it, uh -huh, uh -huh. no, uh, I was going to say uh, Currency and mm. Jermaine Dupri's for motivational purposes only, Jesus. volume one. I don't know about that. That, Jermaine Dupri. I don't know but that that's why I thought y'all would do it. Simple, <laughs> why I wanted y'all to do it, simply because it was such a weird combination of the two. Mm. And it's one Atlanta, mm. and it's everything. I was like, huh, this would be, that was that was one you, I, I, you know what I, I think I will probably listen to it just because you said that but yeah I, when I saw said, did we not listen to that no, <laughs> no I think no. I think I'll listen to it uh, okay. yeah right. he was, like, he was he taken was out of the chamber Damn. currency yeah. early early I, yeah. I know I almost I almost yeah. stopped watching him <laughs> <laughs> it was one of them he said it he said no we're not, we not reviewing the more because I'm the only because I'm the only one that says anything positive about currency <laughs> not no more nah, I appreciate nah, you nah. Ashley <laughs> and he, shit I even turned Ken too so it is what it is BZ430 what's your third project um Bodie James manager on McNichols Mm. God, that was a good album. That was a good project. I took yours, Ken. Damn, I didn't know you crazy. had it on there. <laughs> out of all the damn, out of all the shit I, I picked, I, I know. Could've, I yeah, could have named some more, there, but yeah. yeah. Hey, unpopular opinion, but I actually like that album better than Price of Tea in China. And I know they came really? out, they came out around the same time. I think they came out the same like yeah, yeah. a few yeah. months. Yep, 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 yep. Everybody was so because the Alchemist, but I'm like, bro, what nah, he was uh, doing on this album. Man, no, that was that man. Was good too. Uh, yeah, that was I, good I, I will put this over. Yes, yes. Okay, modest. Number um, three. I'm gonna get back on track. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna close it with uh, Chuck Strangers' uh, Forsaken Lovers Plea that came out this year. Mm. Uh, Chuck Strangers, man, his albums. I mean, his his music has been great. It's evolved a lot. Yeah, it has, man. It really has evolved, evolved or whatever. And um, yeah, this was another good project to his. Uh, his body of work mm -hmm. uh, so yeah i would definitely recommend people to check that out um but yeah it would have been good to throw him in the chamber you know what i'm saying because he had the features on uh, the kai album and everybody's yep. seen the yep. his features yeah. on the kai album yeah he sure was on kai um, album. so yeah man but his solo work is good and this mm -hmm. is his latest project so and we didn't we didn't we didn't review it so yeah like i said i just wanted to point out some some current gotcha. uh albums that we just have that we skipped this year mm -hmm. so yeah ken number three uh, B threw me off, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't have a third one. You, you look. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you an alley oop, and you better slam dunk it. Very recently, we reviewed something on D three sixty five that you gave very high marks to, and I was oh, completely shit. I surprised. About that one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, good? Yeah, affiliated too, bro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, London Who Drugs. Huh? Who else? And Jay Worthy. And there's a third person. And Sean Mounts. Yep. That's Bruh. crazy. Bruh. Rod, I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah. hey, bro, you gotta listen to this shit, bro. They, they, there's a really clever way they do Hold the up. samples. Hold up, the bro. production is, cr and Jay Worthy on top of it bro. is crazy. And the features, bro, there's a feature yeah, no, there's on a there. I know you gonna, I, I, I know you and B <laughs> will love, bro. Yeah, both of y'all niggas should uh, definitely download. Look, uh, when I, I went in the past, I didn't think about this year. What is, what is, uh, what's the album? Affiliated, Affiliated two. Oh, I see it. Yep. Okay. So look, hey, I, look. I knew going, I would have never played this album. Looking at this, I would have yeah. never played it. Yeah. You and you and I, you and I both. Yeah, I would have never played this album. So the reason why I even put it on the docket originally was there's certain people that I fuck with that I know Ken would fuck with. He just got to get past the barrier. Mm -hmm. Jay Worthy is one of those people, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So I was like, fuck, it, I'm gonna just add it on there. So when, when I came in, I'm like, all right, you know, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. This nigga was like, bro, this is one of the best things I done heard. Hey, you know, man. we have a little report card at the beginning. He's That's like, A plus. Crazy. Hey, hey, I'm like, what? What is going on here? Related I gotta to. check it out. Yeah, no, that shit. That shit is <laughs> that hard. Shit is crazy. That to shit me. is hard, bro. Yeah. That shit is hard. When the honorable mentions, you don't get none. You on timeout. You don't get <laughs> slick. Throwing currency in there like that. Um, but I got a couple of honorable mentions. Um, one of them, another one that we did on D three sixty five. Uh, C J Fly and Stoic Piranha. That came out this no it came out late last year it came out november of 2023 
that album <laughs> look I, I didn't know cj fly was still making music let alone at the level that he's making it now piranha's a damn good project um you said currency there's another currency project um we reviewed as well i sent it to bb was like hey bro i can't actually listen to this one highway 600 by currency and trauma tone hey rod there's a joint on there bro yes hey, which bro one Highway 600. There's one song on there. <laughs> yeah. There's one song on there. The whole, the whole thing is, yeah, is, is, good. is good. You can but listen to the whole thing. But there's a standout. But there's one. There's like, one. Yeah. There, there, hey. Because we have Spike. Y'all got to text this to me. It's one. I got you. I forget. Because we had Spike on that review. Yeah. And Spike pointed that same song out too. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the last one I have, um, I want to say we, we reviewed this as well on D365. This came out this year as well. Hus Kingpin in a state of Nirvana. Niggas is sleeping on Huss. Uh, Niggas is sleeping. No, and they're not, sleeping I've been, on that I've been mentioning him a long time ago. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Oh, 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 okay. He said niggas. I've been, been, been putting him he up said, on him. That's not yeah. me. I'm not niggas. <laughs> I'm not niggas. I'm not niggas. <laughs> All right. Y'all niggas. niggas. <laughs> yeah. And I, had, I have one more. This uh, nigga. Future 56 Nights. <laughs> future what? 56 Nights. Oh. 56 Nights. That's oh. my favorite future project. Yeah, that whole mixtape. Thank God, right? Review that one. Yeah, it was crazy. What? You know, that's the one that has uh, March Madness on it. What you talking yeah, about? That's an overrated song. All right, whatever. Ashton, you are out of time out now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this one was like, before. I think it came up before y'all started that mm. hip hop, but like a J. Cole is Friday Night Lights. Mm. Things uh, like I'm going to get It was right reference. around. Almost. Almost. Mm -hmm. Same thing with My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one, uh, Buddy, Harlan, I was drawing. Ah, I don't know, Buddy. Yeah. yeah. That I don't one. know that one. Mm -hmm. It came out. Right. Two years ago, two three years ago, mm. I went when Vince went on tour for not Big Fish Theory, FM. Mm -hmm. uh, Buddy opened up for him, and what else, what else would I say? Oh yeah, Don Trip and Star Lito, Step Brothers. <laughs> 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 I don't get the joke. <laughs> Don Tripp and who? Starlito. Starlito. I remember that the, the Don Tripp Starlitos is put Don Tripp on the map. It's funny. Not as a producer. It's funny because we just went through Don Tripp stuff like with because uh, Spike. Spike swears by him. Mm -hmm. We were not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got we audio impressed. video of that. Uh, <laughs> he said Don Trill be rapping his ass yeah, that's off. off. That's what he messed up. <laughs> that's what he messed up. And we was like, oh, word. I played some joints. We was just like, man, what? Rapping his ass off. Okay. I have like three Don Trip albums in my Apple in my Apple Music Library right now. I had to show it to Spike. I was like, bro, I, I know Don Trip. Like, he's here. I remember. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anything else I would mention just be like probably like a Wale project, but I don't think y'all like him either. So I don't think we dislike Wale. It's just yeah, he he falls into that boring rapper bucket. I think yeah, I disagree. But mm. you know, yeah, I'm just, I'm just I know Ken called his music happy one time. It's like I what? did. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like the gifted or something. You just like oh, I listened to it. Oh, it's a very uh, happy album. I was like what. <laughs> Yeah, Wale's the gifted for Lauren. Um, Lauren's dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those, those are great. I think I've listened to all of his stuff actually before. I listen to. I'd be nosy. But, yeah. He checks all the boxes, yeah. You think so? Yeah, he he got the girl records. He has big records. He could do the radio songs. He could do the lyrical miracle thing. He could rap about shoes and cars. Like Wale is arguably the most versatile rapper. Hmm. Me. <laughs> Get back in timeout, my boy. Get back in timeout. Get back in timeout. Put Wale up against anybody. Oh, you going to beat? Oh, way too far now, oh you coming? Bro. You coming for all Friday then? I got you. you. All Friday is back. He's gonna be the first guest. Bz, what's your mm. honorable mentions? I respect it. Uh, add to the, the uh, Jim Crow of the musical. Mm. Um, Apollo Brown and Shay Nora as God intended, and Little Sims Gray Area. And then one more, I got Kai, the Nice Gambit. I just got one. Okay. Sexy Red and Sexy <laughs> Red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit is hot it's garbage. Sexy, we trust. Yeah. That shit is hot garbage. But I feel like she needs to go in the chamber. I think her popularity right now is, mm. I think we're missing it. 
I'm glad it wasn't that one though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, one's fucking crazy. crazy. But nah, I, I think uh, what was the ones before that? She had some stuff before that that has like that ski and all that on it. Mm. I feel like she needs to get thrown in the chamber, man. It's, mm. She is she big talk right now. She made two yeah. on the on billboard her, yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we got to talk about her. Yeah. We got we, we got to. Hey, we talked about Ice Spice. We talked about, about Ice Spice. Sexy Red. We talked Go about Red. all these other people. Sexy Red needs to be talked about. Go mm-hmm. Sexy. Go Sexy. Cool. <laughs> that should be riding, though. That might be. Okay, honorable mention. I also only have one. Mm-hmm. Mavi. Oh, hell Ooh. yeah. Laughing so hard. Mm-hmm. It hurts. My view is dope. We're going to close it out with you. What are your honorable mentions? Okay, I just got three real quick. Uh, one I mentioned before is a, a Capital C's uh, American Corruption. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, uh, Domo Genesis Facade Records that dropped in 2018. That was a uh, small EP he did. Okay. I think it's like perfect. No scoopables on it. And then after that, uh, Dave B. Um, he dropped an album called Blue. I want to say that was also back in 2018, 2019-ish. Very okay. uh, personal, thought-out album, kind of singer, rapper type of dude. From I think he's from Seattle. But okay. um, it, his music really reflects that too. But that's a really dope. Probably another one. No skillful. So that's what's up. The conversation after the conversations in the comment section. So let us know what albums you feel that we should have reviewed. Obviously, we're always up here. We're always listening to music, and we gave some joints that you should check out, and that we also wish that we would have reviewed. So that way, we could have got the thoughts and opinions of our cohorts here. However, what do you think? What are albums that we should have reviewed? So we out. Peace.